Hi, I'm Sam Claflin and we are behind the scenes of my Rolling Stone UK shoot. I have to say, I think one of the biggest influences of my life uh, have always been more monster uh, villains. You know, we have Jaws, Shark, the ultimate villain, I think. And then I remember Jeepers Creepers. <laughs> I don't know if anyone's ever seen that movie, but for some reason the, the, the kind of monster thing in that was terrifying. The un, unwritten paranormal villain of paranormal activity was pretty horrendous. Blair Witch, which you never see. Yeah, I, I kind of, I was always obsessed by like more the monster-esque villains of uh, film and TV. And then they weren't exactly what influenced my, my role in Enola Holmes, but, um, Definitely the thing that I, you know, enjoy watching more. Playing a, a, a lead singer of a band, in, or a fictional band, <laughs> in Daisy Jones and the Six definitely came with its obstacles. I, I'd never been that musical, I'd never played any instruments, I'd never really sung, I'd never recorded anything, put it that way. So it, it, it was, you know, I think I went into my audition thinking that Elton John's Your Song was, you know, a, the pinnacle of 70s rock. So I had a, I had a lot to learn. <laughs> you know, I, I, in fact, I think during my audition, the music producer, Tony, sort of started playing Come Together by the Beatles, but I thought it was written and sung and originally sung by Michael Jackson. So my knowledge of 70s rock and roll was uh, very lacklustre. So there, there was quite a, a journey for me to go on, which, you know, I think when you watch it back, I, you know, I, I for one am quite proud of the amount of work that I put in and that came out of it. Uh, uh, but yeah, I, 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 st I, I still wouldn't say I'm a musician, put it that way. <laughs> Billy Dunn from Daisy Jones and the Six, I think just through my personal experiences, there were so many kind of, um, connections and similarities between myself and the character just through decisions he's made or, or obstacles he's had to overcome minus the addiction side of things but yeah there, there was a lot of personal kind of relationships in the way that he he sort of struggles with his art and his family life and all of, all of those sorts of elements of him uh, I, I definitely felt I could play authentically because I'd been there I'd, I'd lived in those shoes in some some way um, so I definitely feel like I have evolved having played that part um, and kind of learned a lot about myself through playing that part. Um, on the flip side of that, a part that was so far from, far, so far removed from who I am was a, a character called Hawkins in a film called The Nightingale, which was just, you know, he's, he's just the ultimate villain very very nasty piece of work and i think emotionally and mentally that affected me the most uh, and that's the thing that sort of stuck with me the most i think for all the wrong reasons <laughs> just because i think i think playing someone so so far from who you are it's sometimes it was a lot to just kind of carry on my shoulders a lot of pressure i put on myself to kind of prove to myself that i could do it um, and you know it was uncomfortable i feel like you have to kind of push yourself until you realize what you're boundaries are and where that you know yeah but that was that was definitely too much <laughs> for me